Usman sees a windy forecast. That's about all. <laughs> I don't have <laughs> any uh, special uh, things about me. I just. Well, I, you know, Bob, you're special. Come in. Yeah, I'm special. You're Thank special. you. <laughs> Thank you, wink, wink. <laughs> 68 degrees, our high temperature. Uh, warmer out to the west and southwest. The coolest readings up to the north and northeast. Only 61 Paris, also in Texarkana. But I think. The warmer air is going to win out as we head through tomorrow, especially when you see the winds. I've got forecasts, and they're going to be strong. I think uh, they'll gust past 30 miles per hour, and for that reason, and of course we haven't had a lot of precip lately, uh, the, the red flag warnings are hoisted for the Metroplex on to the west. You combine the dry vegetation, dead really, although we are just about ready to get that new growth, so hopefully we can get some rain in here. Uh, so the fire danger is going to be pretty high from the Metroplex on to the east. Uh, or to the west rather, and these wind speeds, these would not be sufficient for a red flag warning. So that tells you they're going to be going up these wind speeds, and they'll still be blowing out of the south during the day tomorrow. And these numbers will all be double digit, maybe as high as 30, 35 miles per hour gusts during the day tomorrow. But it should be a cool night tonight, despite uh, the southerly winds that we're going to have most of the night. We're still going to drop down into the lower 40s, some areas maybe even upper 30s up across the Red River. But I think. By the time morning comes, if we do get to the low 40s by 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning, those lows will settle down because the winds will start to pick up uh, by the time the sun comes up. And then they're really going to blow, as I said, once the sun is up. Clear skies. Here are those high clouds that are trying to move in uh, from the west and northwest. They're really just going to be in and out wispy high clouds during the day tomorrow. Some cirrus clouds. So uh, overall, it should be a nice day if we could just get rid of that wind. But it is going to warm us up, that southerly wind. We should be about 7, 8, 9 degrees warmer uh, tomorrow than we were today. 53, your current temperature, 28, the dew point under clear skies. Wind is blowing only at 8 miles per hour. 68, the high. The average is 67, 40, the low this morning. Most of us were, though, uh, that's the airport temperature. Most of us were in the uh, 30s this morning and some frost as I mentioned north of the Metroplex 44 though for an overnight low tonight so it's still going to be relatively uh, on the cool side high pressure shifting off to the east so these southerly winds will start to strengthen as low pressure develops far to our north and to our northwest so a windy warm day temperatures soaring into the 70s this cool front Looks like it's going to make it through about all of Oklahoma, get to about maybe Gainesville, curve down to Abilene, but I don't think it's going to move through the Metroplex. But what will accompany it probably is some cloud cover and also will increase some cloud cover from the south on Saturday, so we'll bring temperatures down a little bit, and then perhaps we'll get this front to move through late Sunday night. That could provide a shower or a thunder shower, but I don't have a lot of rain in the forecast, just a lot of cloud cover once we get through the middle part of the weekend into next week. Mid 70s for highs tomorrow under mostly sunny skies, mostly clear, cool. 40 to 45 for tomorrow. Red flag warning flies from the Metroplex on west. Warmer, 74 to 78, about 75. Very windy. And then not as windy on Saturday. And don't forget, we spring forward Saturday night before you go to bed. Losing our sleep. Shower, thunderstorm, late Sunday night into early Monday, and then early next week. Don't look for a lot of rain, but I do think we're going to see a lot of cloud cover as we head through the uh, early to middle part of next week. And don't forget, each.